any uh projects coming for you and that that you got coming out working on i'm sure you're always working on something yeah i'm working on a documentary with uh the booya tribe because uh, i be feel fire. like you know that story needs to be told it's I a agree. la story and i agree if you know you know and if you don't you should mm-hmm. so um uh working with uh Gotti and cobra the remaining brothers uh that's a big story to tell godfather uh rid monster oh rest in peace, rest in peace. Passed that's away a big story the, to tell man yeah and it needs to be you know like 100 percent. those dudes you know were there from the beginning of la hip-hop mm-hmm. and like i just feel like that area like the carson area of la i don't think people fully understand you know like the Pacific Islander or the Samoan or the Oos like culture that comes out of there and how it also can be wrapped into like the street side of things as well. It's almost yeah. like, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's crazy. Cause if it's, it's almost like a Booyah tribe is out right now active, like they were in the nineties and shit, like with the, with the allure of gang culture nowadays on the internet is so fucking crazy. I don't get it, but yeah. it's like, but it's dope that you're doing that. Yeah, and then uh, Cobra's son D Boy, he he's <laughs> rapping now and he's bad. He's, oh, I didn't. Oh, that's dope. I got yeah, check him he's out. He's sick with it. That's he's, dope. So yeah, that. Right. Oh shit. So that's that's gonna be dope. Yeah, he's bad. Do you have a home for that project? Uh, not yet. I'm We're sure. just getting uh, interviews together. I went with D Boy to uh, New Zealand. They did a tribute to the Buya tribe out there at this festival. He performed, and then they a bunch of the older guys from that did music with them came out and did like a tribute show to them so that was like some you know cool footage that you just can't get for any other group right you know that's like, dope that's super dope and then so, I, I got the joker and the Stevan orioles and zoomies now so we're you know go support at zoomies yeah just you try guys, to have it somewhere where you know the regular folks can get it have you guys done a collab with cookies yet i did you did do one with yeah, Stephen Oreo. Yeah, I did a. Uh, that was one of the things that kept me going in uh, the in the COVID because I did a couple of collabs like Fools Gone Wild, Cookies, mm-hmm. Cholo Fit Creeper, <clears throat> and Born and Raised. And um, those things are what kept me going during the pandemic COVID because yeah. I couldn't go outside to shoot nobody because when I shoot people I'm like very close within 10 feet right so my whole job got shut down also you know along yeah. with everybody else's but those, those collaborations kept me afloat that's dope man so uh go support if you're in zoomies yep if you uh if you, uh, what's the official website that people can just go purchase? Um, EstevanOriel.LA or JokerBrand.com. So go support, go check out the uh, exhibit. It's in LA, I think until March. 15th. No, they extended it. They did? Yeah, because it's been doing so I gotta so take good. my kids. So yeah. I've been telling Alan Strong, I'm gonna take my kids to go check it out. I oh, it's like, cool, man. I, I've seen photos. It's it's because it's been a, 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 at least a month and a half or so. It's been there. Yeah, yeah. It's been there for a while. So go check it out. Go check out your. You got a whole area of it. Um, go follow this guy. You're a legend, man. Thank I look you, forward brother. to, to seeing you. what you got up your sleeve next. Yeah, it's coming. There it is, man. That's Devon. Appreciate you, brother. Hell yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Boom.